Today we're going to be unboxing the Small Rig Star Trail Lightweight Multifunctional Modular Mat Box. It's a basic bundle, 95 millimeter, and it just arrived and we're going to unbox it today. And uh, this thing comes with several uh, pieces and we're going to see what they are. And I have my camera here so we can test it out. Now, small rig, while I practice, I've been buying small rig products for the past few years, from cages to accessories to various things, um, and I've become uh, a favorite, uh, a fan favorite of small rig products. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is a lot more affordable than those other ones out there in the market. And um, I've grown to trust this product even more throughout the years as far as Small Rigs brand. First off, I like, like this packaging that they have with this box. It's really cool. Look at that design. And uh, in the box, it's got all this uh, explanation of what's in there. So you have, stand by, I'll put my glasses on. So in here it has the mat box, a magnetic hood, uh, top flag, and then the various sizes, fil uh, filter tray, and carrying bag. Really like the packaging on this. Now we we'll get to the case. I like like the case a lot. That's cool. The little red tab right there, and uh, looks like. It's going to protect what's inside very well, as long as you don't put anything heavy on top of it, it gets smushed. Okay, upon unboxing this, uh, look at this. It's, uh, these ring holders, it's really cool. And this attack, oh, it's kind of like a, uh, a, uh, a, a book page where you can flip it over. Well, that's an interesting design. Okay. Here is the flap or the hood on it. Uh, I was look, I had double checking. It was like, is there a scratch on it? No, it's like my eyes playing on it. Okay, here is the matte box itself. The build quality feels like some parts are plastic and some parts are aluminum. Um, I don't know, that's metal, metal, aluminum, like cheap metal. You hear that sound? It sounds like cheap metal, but it makes it lightweight. So that's the beauty of this matte box. And then uh, I guess you got this to lock it down. Okay. And then here is the filter holder the build quality of this thing. Uh, it feels like plastic or aluminum alloy. But it sounds like plastic, doesn't it? I mean, definitely affordable, but you get what you pay for. Okay, this is maybe to lock this in place. Okay, that, yeah, that's a locking for the hood. All right, and then now we open it. Let's see how we open this. It's not much uh, instructions on this thing, so stand by while I figure this out real quick. Okay, I figured out how to take off this backing. So you have to flip this, and then you raise this, so it comes off. I don't know if I like the design. I'm not feeling the design. And that's how you take this back piece out. And to put it back on, if it's down this way, you can't put it in because, see that? That's closed. That's open. So you can't just slide in there. But if you pull these things out, which is a little counterintuitive, you have to hold it one hand, you have to hold the other, I guess. Nope. 
Okay, and it dropped it in there and lock. Hmm. I don't mean doing this right, but okay, okay. I snapped it in there and I locked. And now it's locked in there. But it feels like this thing would uh, easily open. But if both of them are open, this thing will come off. <sighs> okay. I guess that's how it works. And then let's take this out so we can further investigate. So this knob here tightens up the inside. So as I'm spinning this, you see this protruding out right there. And I guess this tightens up the ring um, and it holds it in place. I don't know, what's your thoughts on the design so far? To be honest with you, I, I'm kind of not feeling this design at all. Okay, so I have my Nifty FX3 with my G Master, and the thread is 82. Let's see if we can find 82 here. Oh, right here, 82 here, it's right here. Okay, so now we're gonna thread this with my camera. Assuming this will thread, stand by while I figure it out. Okay, we managed to get that in there. Okay, and now we're going to put this and this. we got to loosen this up so it could clamp on to this ring. And then we're going to twist it back until I get an opening. And be able to grip it in here. Stand by while I figure this out. Okay, managed to slip that in there. It's not tight yet, but you notice how loose it is. So now I'm going to tighten it up with this knob and it's locked in place. Okay, there we go. So that's in place now. These other rings will work for my other lenses, so we won't talk about that. We'll just see how we can work with this. So I guess we'll just drop it in like this and lock it in place. And lock. And there we go. There you go. That's the map box. Now we're going to drop in a filter which I do have a new ear and uh, let's drop it in here okay here's a filter frame okay I have an ND filter here from new ear I am a poor filmmaker I don't have a lot of budget for high-end or high-end or high-end products I wish I can have like some Tiffin, but this is what I can afford at the moment. Uh, don't judge me. I got some fingerprints on this from the last job. Just relatively quick. Okay. And we drop it in. Okay, here all along I was like, okay, I gotta push these buttons just to maybe release this. All I had to do was lift this. So you just lift that up so you can drop the glass in here. That's not the most easiest way to put in. But there you go. There's the glass in the frame. Okay. And we slide it in here. And there you go. You got a uh, 4 by 5 uh, glass in there. Get the hood okay on my G Master lens. Now, what do I think of this product? I think it's uh, an okay design. It's gonna work for what I do. Um, obviously, if you need to control more light, uh, you would need to up the ND filter to higher. Um, filters this is a uh, 
I believe a 0 0.6 so this only carries one and uh, my other mat box is bigger it holds three correction my other mat box holds two and this only holds one so for what I'm doing and um, you know basic run and gun stuff I can certainly use this rig setup and uh, codes in place it's good enough it's not as expensive as those other ones I'm sure the other ones are a lot better quality um, and design but for the price I paid for this is gonna work um, yeah the only design I don't like are these side flaps it's kind of really weird just to separate these two not a fan of that but everything else seems to be okay for what I need to get done all right if you have any questions down below I am gonna fill it with Amazon I provide a link if you do decide to purchase I will get a small commission thanks for watching